Is the Secretary General of UDA party, that is Cleophas Malala, chewing more than he can swallow? Welcome back to Vana Media. My name is Bonfesto Wino and as usual I'm going to be your host for today. Cleophas Malala, that is the Secretary General of the UDA party, have decided now to do the Lord's work by warning uh, some of the UDA, lead, UDA politicians, so UDA, UDA leaders, elected leaders, that uh, what they are doing is not right and uh, if they continue like that, it's better they resign other than uh, doing what they are not supposed to do uh, is claiming that they are not doing their work uh, that they were elected to do warning them telling them that if they continue like that then it is better they resign and do politics um, instead of uh, instead of uh, doing politics other than uh, working for the people now this follows just a day after Cleophas Malala went to China and came back, after coming back from China, and he's saying that uh, they went to China and then uh, the, the meeting was, uh, was successful. Sometimes there are some of the things that normally happen, and uh, we, we ask ourselves that, are these things true or false? Just like, okay, I want you to, I want you to, 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 watch, to, to see this. Though it's, I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, want to, I just want to put it, I just want to put this letter. And then, uh, because maybe some people might think that it's, 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 fa it's a fake letter. Maybe it's not, it, it's not been, it has not been written by Malala. I want, you to, I want to put you the video of Malala himself reading the letter. I am pleased to be back, to be back in Kenya following successful, successful and fruitful visit to China. During our time in China, the UDA de delegation engaged in uh, meaningful discussions with our counterparts from the community, communist, parties, communist parties of China. We explored areas of mutual interest. So that is the, that is the letter. That is the letter that uh, I want I want you to listen to the way uh, Malala is reading it. And then after that now I come so that we can discuss this and ask ourselves. Is Malala doing more than is expected to do or will he be safe the way he has started behaving as the Secretary General of UDA party? Uh, ladies and gentlemen, members of the press, uh, we are pleased to be back in Kenya following a successful and fruitful visit to China. During our time in China, the UDA delegation engaged in meaningful discussions with our counterparts in the, communi uh, uh, in the Com Communist Party of China. We explored areas of mutual interest, including economic collaboration, infrastructure development, and capacity building. The insights and experiences we garnered will undoubtedly strengthen our bilateral ties and continue to contribute to the strong ties between Kenya and uh, China. However, upon my return to Kenya, I have been deeply concerned by reports of indiscipline uh, among some of our elected members within our party. It has come to my attention that certain individuals have shown blatant disrespect to the party leadership, including the presidency. This behavior is unacceptable and will not be tolerated within the UDA party. We want to now bring order in the UDA party. I am specifically addressing the actions of the following members of the UDA party. One, Gidunguri member of parliament, Honorable Gadoni Wamushomba. Two, Nyeri governor, Honorable uh, Mutai uh, Kahiga. Three, Capsaret member of parliament, Honorable Oscar Sudi and a host of MCAs who will be calling them for disciplinary measures at the party. Your recent conduct has not only undermined the party's unity, but also disrespected the leadership that you pledged to serve. 
let this be a stern warning. Desist from such actions immediately. And we are saying that should this behavior continue, the party will take disciplinary action against the above mentioned members. Additionally, it has also come to my attention that some cabinet secretaries have been involved, uh, or rather they are involving themselves in political activities. Contrary to the law, which requires them to remain apolitical, Honorable Moses Courier, the Cabinet Secretary for Public Service, Gender and Affirm Affirmative Action, your primary responsibility is to serve the people within your docket. Should you wish to engage in politics, you are welcomed to resign and join the political arena. Similarly, Honorable Kipchumba Murkomen, Cabinet Secretary for Roads and Transport, your focus should be on addressing the pressing issues in your ministry, particularly the repair of roads damaged by the recent floods. Serve the people or step down from your position and return to politics. So we want to ask the cabinet secretaries who involve themselves in political activities over the weekend that the UDA party will not tolerate such character in our administration. Our president is keen to implement his manifesto. We are lagging behind because of uh, uh, civil servants and public officers who have derailed the vision of our administration and engaged in politics. Uh, the importance of party discipline and respect for party hierarchy is mandatory. Any form of indiscipline will not be tolerated within the ranks of UDA party. We must uphold values and principles that guide our party to ensure we deliver on our promises. Lastly, we have certain groups within the UDA party that are fueling the disunity in the UDA party. And I want to call upon the communications uh, teams within the office of the president and the office of the deputy president. Kindly stop fueling disunity in the UDA party. We want to call upon both communication teams to work in unity and stop antagonizing each other. Lastly, we want to join our president in saying that the UDA party was elected on a platform of the Hustler Nation. While I was away, I was told that one governor stepped outside the law and banned Mogoka in Mombasa. On behalf of the Hustlers and the Mogoka traders and uh, the consumers of Mogoka, we want to ask that governor to operate within the constraints of the law. Mogoka and Mira are synonymous in content, and they have been approved. We even export them outside this country. And therefore, we are saying that the traders that are involved in Mogoka business should also operate within the confines of our law. Make sure that you have warning signs, just like a cigarette. When you smoke a cigarette, we know that it has harmful effects to your health. But there is a warning there. Cigarettes, alcohol are goods that are not supposed to be sold to people under the age of 18. Similarly, the traders of Mogoka should also observe the measures that have been put in place by other goods to ensure that they put warnings to where they are selling their goods and also to desist from selling the, 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 the goods to uh, 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 citizens under the age of 18. Now let us talk about that letter. That letter, inside that letter, contains a lot of serious warnings. The warnings that are directed to people like Oscar Sudi, Kipchumba Murkomen, uh, Moses Kuria, Gadoni Wamuchomba, and, and Governor Gahig, uh, Kahiga, telling them that uh, if they can't work, if they can't do what they, the, what they were elected to do, then it is very, it is good, it is better for them to resign instead, instead of. Uh, taking respect or maybe instead of uh, or instead of not showing respect to the UDA party leaders. Which UDA party leaders are we talking about here? We're talking about 
Deputy President William uh, Deputy President um, Gashagwa together with the President himself. Now, I want us to ask ourselves this question. Because, okay, according to me, the way I've, I've, I've read that letter and I've understood it, I realize that this letter has not been written directly by the Secretary General. It is, it is the discussion that they've, they've had with the party leader. When I talk about the party leader, we know the person that I'm referring to. This thing is, is something that they've, they've discussed. It is only that the party leader didn't want to, to go direct to, 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 speak, to speak out, or maybe he didn't want to take it out directly. But this, you know, every letter that is written, every letter that is, is written by the Secretary General of any party, it must have been a discussion between the party leader and between all the party officials before it comes out publicly to be read to the public. So my thought is this, that President William Samoe Ruto, I'm not blaming the president, but I'm just saying that President William Samoe Ruto is doing what he knows very well. This is something that he knows that is happening because you can't just tell us that uh, Secretary General will come out and read things that involves the party, yet we have with the party leader, and we assume that the party leader himself does not know what is going on. So this is the thing. President William Ruto wanted to pass information or to pass a message to these, pe to these people, telling them that they should stop making too much noise, they, sh they should stop doing politics instead of working. But now, this is the only way that he could have passed the information or the message. Because he knows that when he come out publicly to criticize them, people will start saying that uh, he's biased, something like that. But I don't know what to think. Another thing that we have to understand here is that some, uh, it is only Cleophas Malala that is going to be attacked. This problem is going to be, a bad, this burden is going to be carried by Cleophas Malala. No one else will help him to carry this cross. Because once he has attacked Kipchumba Murkomen, once he is reading a letter that, that is attacking or is warning people like Moses Kuria, the, letter, the same same letter is, is warning people like Oscar Sudi. And we know who Oscar Sudi is. In as much as we know that Oscar Sudi is a close ally of the President William Samoe Ruto, but there are some of the things that I know Oscar Sudi cannot. If Oscar Sudi can stand at the podium to warn the Deputy President himself that he, will, he cannot be intimidated, he cannot be threatened, that the deputy president cannot threaten him. So, who is Cleophas Malala to Oscar Sudi? If Oscar Sudi himself can tell us, can say publicly that he's doing the work that he's been assigned to do by the president, and then now the secretary general is coming out and reading a letter that is warning uh, Oscar Sudi to stop um, uh, doing politics and to stop, uh, to stop dis dis disrespecting the party leaders. It is the same same Oscar Sudi that warned people, the politicians that if you don't want to work, if you don't want to walk, if you don't want to travel, let me travel. Because you can't tell me not to come to your constituency, your county, yet I'm supposed to do my work. You know, uh, this, this, this part of resigning is what is making this letter to, to sound funny. Like, how do you expect somebody like Oscar Sudi to, to resign? You know, how do you expect, let us just be, be sincere here. How do you expect somebody like uh, Kimani Chungwa? How do you expect somebody like Moses Kuria to just resign? I, I remember Gidoni Machonga said that, uh, okay, she can resign. She has got no problem. If they want, we want her to resign, she can resign. That, that, that is during the, 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 the Limuru 3 meeting. But now somebody like Moses Kuria, somebody like Moses Kuria, Oscar Sudi. You know, these are the people, these are the kind of people that... Uh, Okay, in as much as maybe they are, uh, they are leaders, but they are very much close to the president that uh, I don't think if the, the president himself will allow, will, will allow them to resign. But uh, let us just wait and see the, the outcome. Uh, I'm here, I'm here, I'll update you on, uh, on the response that either Moses Kuria, Kimani Chunga, or Oscar Sudi, Moso Oscar Sudi, will give to Cleophas Malala. Because that is why I've started by asking you that will Cleophas Malala be safe with the way he, sta he has started to attack the, the, the politicians that are under UDA party and more so those ones that are very, very much close to the president himself. <laughs> 
I don't know what you think. That is just my thought. I would also like to give you a chance in the comment section so that you can also tell me what you think. But just a reminder, if you're meeting for the first time, don't please don't forget to subscribe, like, and also share. As I normally say, that feedback is normally the key thing in any, any form of communication. Please tell me where you're watching us from. If you're watching us from within the country, within the country, you can tell me the county where you're watching us from. If you're watching outside the country, it is also required and good to tell me which country you are watching us from and how these videos are reaching. And in case there is something that we are supposed to do as a fan media to improve the channel or maybe to make sure that now the videos are and the information is getting to you correctly at the right time you can just tell us at the, at the comment section so that you can do the, veri the verification and we can do that correction and until we meet again i've been your host bonfessovino bye bye